Jump. The beast thing. Uh, make great great catch. Catch. Great catch. selfie oop. Current Harlem Globetrotter, Angelo Sharpless, with oh, the yeah. alley-oop to himself. Yes. During a game, though, a pro-am game, but a game in Atlanta. He's just trying to play defense, that guy. He's <laughs> no, reaching in. He wasn't trying very well. <laughs> Is this the most disrespectful thing you can do to a defender? I, 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 I got to <laughs> think that the James Harden cross you over and then look at you before shooting is way more disrespectful than that. Because he looks at That's it. pretty impressive that he, that's did, impressive. that he got the, the bounce just right. No, that's impressive. But um, disrespectful, not a disrespectful. James Harden, look when he licked, he crossed over, dropped him, and then licked, licked his, his lips, lips. <laughs> and then made the shot. That was the most disrespectful. Oh, but this is pretty close. Miss Ankles. I'm just going to call him V because v. That's, that's what I want to call him. Catches a body, knocks yes. down the tray. Yes. I mean, did you know V had this in his game? Oh, uh, he killed it last year in Summer League, but he didn't do anything like that. I remember back in the day when Marco Bellinelli was breaking people's ankles. Oh, in summer See, what a last... Summer League name. <laughs> uh, Ma, I'm Bellinelli. See, but Marco Bellinelli's last name. I, I remember when Anthony Randolph was breaking <laughs> ankles oh, in Summer League. Josh Selby was making them dance out there. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, do V's last name. Me and Luke. Easy for close? you to say. Make no. ad libs. Not yeah, even close. All of it. Uh -huh. There we go. Brian knows all. Make ad libs. Miles Bridges with the Eurostep. This is awesome. Boom, boom. And the windmill Whoa. jam. That's illegal. Boom. At what point? I would just blow the whistle just because. Come on. <laughs> Humans can't do that. Do you think, at Humans what point do, do you think he decided to throw down the windmill, Brian? I mean, he was like, hey, I'm in Vegas. It's July. I'm going to do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> did, did he, did nobody he, doubts this dude's got serious. Did he have things. the Vince Carter moment where he's like, I think I can try this. Right. Like, Vince just <laughs> decides things end. midway through. Like, yeah, I guess. Why not? Right? Man, it was awesome. So All good. 1,500 people there. Actually, not even uh, that. The, hey, man. This is the point in Summer Look, League. A lot the end, of the teams the end have of Summer League I doesn't know. have the a same lot of kind the of fans have left, But the championship is tonight. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's run it back, though, with the top three other plays. From Summer League thus far. Number three, oh, Sear yeah. Little with the two handed poster like dunk. Kid. I think Portland really did well. And boom. Happened. Good challenge in the shot here. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's challenging the shot. There's nobody, nobody criticized him for I'd that. I'd rather that like than him this. Number two, Jackson Hayes. See, again. that's not challenging the shot. Informs good, good the job. defender no, he should have made a business a decision. Off, Watch this. this. Terrific no. pass. Look at that. Terrific dunk. The and need respectable of the show, defense. Though. Not respectable. respectable. Not respectable. <laughs> respectable. Not respectable. Number one. I was st standing in the corner oh. for this one on the lower left. It was amazing. Zion ripping the ball away from Give me that. Knox and then throws it down. That was the first earthquake of that day. That was. <laughs> then I'm later on, we had an actual. I was had four no feet chance. from him when he it's did this. I got to no tell chance. you, it was even better right there. That was remarkable. Zion's former head coach, though. Not happy with him appearing in Summer League, even if it was, in fact, only for nine minutes in one game. His schedule, as one reason he should have sat out Summer League entirely, here's what he told Forbes, quote, I thought, really, he never should have played just because he's been on this circuit of awards, the SP's everything. I don't think he's in the playing shape or the mental shape to play. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead. The ESPYs that happened about three days after the dude played his one and only game of the Summer League? That ESPYs <laughs> was too much for him? Look, here's the thing. The, the people at Summer League did a good job of this. They track all the people who have played at Summer League. You know who's played at the last, uh, who's played in the Summer League? The last five MVPs. Mm -hmm. So that's Giannis, mm -hmm. Harden, mm -hmm. Westbrook, mm -hmm. Curry. Mm -hmm. And if you go back, Durant. Yes. LeBron's played at Summer League. LeBron played in two Summer Leagues in the same summer. And they were both oh, like a week long. Right. So, I mean, like this idea that all of a sudden this, this precious commodity can't play Summer League. They all play Summer League. I that's, got bad news for you, man. This the, is a trend that's going to no, keep going. No, don't say it. This is a trend that's going to keep going. And talking to some agents and some other executives, they think that the downside is bigger than the upside for the top players. You looked at what happened with Trey Young last year, got heavily criticized for his summer league games. You look at this year, JT Barrett had a couple of rough outings at the start. Ha! I got you back for the speed name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a before, Ohio State fan, sorry. RJ Barrett. He got criticized heavily for those couple of bad games. Right, but it's interesting you talk about Trey, right? He got criticized heavily for his few few game first few months of the season. I know. So I'm the, not sure that the, running from criticism. summer league is gonna keep you from that. I, well, I'm just telling you what the agents and the executives are telling me. Who's saying that? Who's Suffered from summer league. I need I need that list of names. Well, like, here's here's what I, here's what I'm being told. What that the future of summer league may be 
the training camp that you have with your team leading up to it, and then the practices that take place while you're in Vegas with your team. That may be what Summer League is. We may have seen peak Summer League for the fans. We, it may now be like the second round picks and fringe. I, got, I guess I'm still, I'm waiting for the agent or the team or whoever to sit me down and say, you know what? That guy really got messed over by Summer League. Who? By the way, who? Zion did play. Yeah, he, I mean, pl- he, he barely I mean, played. There's a I mean, graphic is saying he barely here's played. Here's what I say to you, sir, Brian Winhorst, or really what Alonzo Trier says to you, sir. This is what Alonzo tweeted. He said, the amount of draft picks that didn't play and sat out Summer League is some scary stuff. If you're not ready for Summer League, good luck when that real association starts. It'll be a spooky start for many. And then Donovan Mitchell replied. He said, said the same thing. Look, the, the idea here is, so I, we used to talk about this when I was with the Suns, about do we want to play in Vegas or do we want to play in one of the other smaller summer leagues? And we're saying, well, there are a lot of distractions. And we ultimately decided Vegas is the place because I want the distractions. I want to see how he feels with the crush of media, with a full stadium of people, with all the expectations, with all the work you got to do. I want to have the lights and the, the glitter of Las Vegas and the women and all the other. I want you, all sir. of and the men, whatever. <laughs> the point being is I want them because this, no matter how crazy it is, is just a fraction of what the 82 games uh, ahead of you are going to be like. And this idea, again, that Summer League, there's a downside to Summer League. I need to see someone who's like, Summer League ruined my career, <laughs> either because I got hurt in Summer League or because I played so badly in Summer League that it destroyed any of my chances. You know who I think agreed with Coach K? I think the Pelicans agree with Coach K because I think at the first sign of any issue, I don't care if he came out and said, hey, my got a little hangnail here. Oh, you're done. I think the Pelicans took one look at him and said he's not ready to play and doesn't want to do it. I got to be honest. I had a problem with them doing that. I would have rather them saying he's day-to-day. Lie to us. But the moment they said he's not playing, it automatically took a lot of gas out of the building. And I think the... Yeah, but that was... That was no, but, that's not David Griffin's but, first, but concern. Ray, but Ray, first concern. I know. His first concern has to be No, no. He can sit him hearing. without saying we're sitting him I for the rest of the summer league. We saw in the NBA Finals what happens when you lead people on about saying he might come back, he might come back. It puts a ton of pressure on the player. No, no. And I don't think that don't that know. needs to be for Zion. We will talk about more of this later. Later. I promise. Summer league show. Coming up, we will also talk about Anthony Davis saying he will put the Lakers roster up against anyone, anybody. Mm. So get your rosters out and be back when we are. Keep it locked on the jump. Serve people is new $1 Christmas.